And this is really started with the work of Claire Patterson, who is the guy that calculated the age of the earth. He used uranium and lead in, to, to calculate the age of the earth and determined that his samples were contaminated by lead. So he figured out how to clean the lab, have a clean lab, to determine the age of the earth. But this led him on a whole side quest of his life to determine how his lab got cont contaminated with lead. <laughs> so this then led to a public health phenomenon, removal of leaded gasoline, removal of lead soldering from soup cans, water pipes, makeups, paint. Just absolutely incredible. And no one knows about Claire Patterson. But when he first approached people and were like, hey, my, lead, my lab is contaminated with lead, he probably said it a better way. He, people in the industry, there was a professor from University of Cincinnati and other prominent people in the 60s were like, no, the lead in the environment is natural. The deaths around us, we haven't reached anything anomalous in Earth's history. That lead is normal. And it turns out these scientists were also being paid by the lead industry. So I wonder why. And they were also public health experts. So this is why we have to be careful when we just rely on experts uh, without, you know, understanding if there's a bit of a conflict of interest. But Claire was like, you're crazy. I can prove it. And so what he went to the end of the earth to prove that the 20th century was contaminated. First, he analyzed ice cores. He went to take ocean cores to, to analyze the layers. But the thing that was really interesting is he analyzed skeletal, he analyzed mummies from Peru mm -hmm. and Egypt. And he measured the teeth and bone concentrations in both of those. And so Egypt was a metallurgy society and the Peruvian mummies were supposedly pre-metallurgy. Then he had plenty of samples from modern day British and American people from the 20th century. And what he found was unbelievable. The modern 20th century people were like thousands of times higher in their lead to calcium ratios in their teeth than Peruvian mummies. So we were through the roof. I even, and I think even Egypt was like higher than the Peruvian mummies in order of magnitude. And those were th like something three, 4,000 year old people, something around the age of the people you're working with. Um, so this whole like context of developing this long time series of skeletal is super interesting to me because then I guess we could then kind of frame where should we be at, aim our public health towards that.